So BMW just announced the production version of the i4, their all-new electric vehicle sedan car with four doors. Because yeah, you have to specify those things. BMW, kind of weird, they started to call a coupe, but the car has four doors. So every time I say a sedan, I have to mention that it only has four doors, not six or, or eight even. But jokes aside, that this car is going to be the BMW's future of electric vehicle. They previously have an has announced have announced the iX, which is the SUV, all electric SUV, class car crossover. So about this car. So this car is going to be on sale next year in twenty twenty two, but. Uh, and there's not a lot of you know informations detailing what kind of trim and what kind of uh, ed, uh, 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 motor or battery spec that you can spec. But this car, BMW say, will go up to 530 horsepower and 300 miles of range. This is the rumored M performance version, which means that the range is actually bad. Maybe there is a not performance version with longer range, but we'll have to see. Uh, but other specs including 0 to 100 kilometers in 4 seconds and top speed of up to 124 miles per hour. This car is also, in terms of looks, it's exactly, almost exactly the same as the concept version, which is normal and good because the concept version is actually almost production version so this production version should looks almost like a concept version i'm i'm too wordy here am i but about this car you know that huge controversial humongous ugly grill is still there unfortunately some people hate it some people like it i'm personally don't like it but i don't hate it but i beg bmw to please please change change the design in the next iteration or something like that but anyway, this car, I think it's a solid car, you know. it's The range is kind of problematic though. I mean, 300 miles it is a lot. But if you compare it to competitors like Tesla, which could get even 500, you know, they haven't launched the s plate version, but it will go to up to 500 miles, which is a long range. It's almost exactly the same as a petrol car. But I think people don't mind that. 300 miles is a long range in European I mean in United States it's not really long but I think most European people would please to to get this car so yeah I think this is a solid car you know BMW's i4 and the iX SUV they're not a car designed for car enthusiasts or old BMW lovers who who grown up with cars like the Z8 with the Z3 and then the M4, uh, M3 and then the M5, the E30, E36, E46, something like that. This is a car for new people. And if you, you can even notice that in BMW's uh, social media campaign. They targeted young, new people who still f unfamiliar with BMW cars. BMW just trying to be the cool old person that hang out with, you know, their... Uh, hang out with the young kids obviously uh, apparently I don't mind this strategy and I think BMW still you know in a way honor the old BMW fans by you know building the M3 and the M4 not kind of honoring you know they still know that they could still sell those cars to that person to those person but yeah I mean BMW is trying to separate the M and the I branding they wanted to eye branding to be that new yeah so feel so young kind of you know electric cars because and a lot of people are pissed with bmw's ways of marketing these things but i think if you're pissed it means that you're not the target audience that yout person is a target audience and i don't know i don't know if this uh social media campaign is working or not but i think bmw is not a stupid company they're not a small company they, they experience in doing things like this and i believe that i think the i4 is a solid car the ix is a solid car as well but we'll have to see you know and until we drive the car until there's a lot of reviews about this car 
we'll have to see but i think i think this car is going to be a solid car because i think bmw spends a lot of time designing this thing and they learned so much when when they when they were building the i3 and i8 which obviously the i3 is not really that of a great car but i would say the i8 is so yeah so anyway that's it if you guys want to know more about car news in indonesia and other countries do please subscribe it's you know i wouldn't i wouldn't force you to subscribe but i will haunt you in your in your window at night subscribe me just kidding okay so thank you so much and look forward to my next content will ya see ya